Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how it is possible to combine graphs using Stata. So uh, before I get started I do want to mention that the data that I'll be using in this demonstration can be downloaded by following the link that's provided underneath the video description. So in that data set uh, you'll see the variables performance goals right here, there's achievement uh, right there, mastery goals, interest, anxiety, uh, there's gender ID, and so forth. We're only going to be using a subset of these variables. So what we're going to uh, start off with is just a very simple um, situation where we are going to combine two scatter plots. And so to do this, uh, we'll, we'll, what I'll do is uh, create a scatter plot with uh, mastery goals on the x-axis and achievement on the y-axis. That'll be the first graph that I'll create and I'm going to be saving the graph using the name uh, option. Then we're, we're going to generate a second scatter plot with performance goals on the x-axis and achieve on the y-axis and again we'll be using the name option to save the the graph and then we'll use the graph combined uh, commands in order to uh, basically combine those two graphs. So let's go ahead and go to the command line and we'll create our first scatter plot. I'll type in scatter and then uh, we'll follow it up by the name that uh, should appear on the y-axis which is achieve followed by the name that would appear on the x-axis which is mastery We'll type comma and then we'll type name. So this is an option uh, associated with a graph. So we're going to uh, basically save uh, this graph, but we have to assign the graph a name. So I'm going to call this graph one since we're, we will be working with multiple graphs. Uh, comma and then I'll type replace and the reason why I'm typing replace is in case I happen to have another graph that's saved uh, as uh, graph one. I want to essentially replace with this new graph. So I'll hit enter and so now you can see that we have our scatter plot where we have achievement on the y-axis and mastery goals on the x-axis. So that's our first graph. The next one we'll do is we'll type in scatter again and we'll type achieve and then P-E-R-F-G-O-A-L for performance goals. That's the name of the variable in our data set. And for this one, I'm just going to uh, tweak it just a bit by adding in a line of best fit. So we'll have the scatter plot along with the line of best fit. So to do this, I'm going to type two vertical lines right here. And then we'll type L fit followed by achieve and performance goals again. So I'll type achieve and P-E-R-F-G-O-A-L for performance goals. We'll follow that up with a comma and then type name and then we'll uh, just give it a name so I'll type graph 2. Again the naming is, is arbitrary this is just what I'm using for this, uh, uh, this demonstration. I'll type comma and then replace and uh, in parentheses here and then we'll hit enter. And so now you can see that we have the second scatter plot and uh, this one also incorporates that line of best fit. So then what we will do now is to combine those two graphs. So I'm going to type graph combine and then we're going to follow it up with the names of those two graphs. So I'm going to type in graph one and then graph two. And basically that's just the order in which I want them to appear. I can change that obviously. Um, so then I'll uh, hit uh, enter again. And so now you can see that I get both plots, uh, both scatter plots. So the one on the left involves mastery goals on the x-axis. The one on the right includes uh, performance goals along the x-axis. You can notice too that there's a, a legend there uh, on the right that just indicates that the line is reflecting fitted values on y. Okay, if I wanted these uh, to be um, you know, right now they are just side by side. If I wanted uh, the graphs to appear in separate rows, I can do that very easily just with a slight modification. I'll type graph combine, then graph one and graph two, and then uh, comma, and then we'll type in row, and we want uh, basically two rows reflected, so I'm going to type in two right there, and then we'll hit enter, and so now you can see that we have our graphs in two separate rows. Now to show that we can combine even uh, different types of graphs, what I'll do is I'm going to generate a new graph. Uh, this is basically going to be a histogram. So I'm going to type in histogram and then we'll use the mastery variable. So we'll type mastery comma and uh, let's just say that I want to uh, use um, 
of uh, percentages. So I'll type in percent uh, right here, and then we'll type name, and then inside the uh, the um, the parenthesis we'll type graph three, and then comma, and then I'll type replace here and in parenthesis and so now you can see that we have our histogram with a percent along the y-axis so this is just reflecting the percentage of cases uh, that would fall within each of the intervals that are shown on this graph so next let's do another one in this case we will uh, type in graph and then bar so we're going to create a bar graph then comma and then over and then I'm going to type in gender ID right here so we're going to create a bar graph uh, reflecting uh, the the uh, proportion of cases that would fall within our, our two um, gender identification groups so we have one group uh, that's coded zero that indicates persons identifying as male uh, the second group uh, is coded one where we have persons identifying as female so we've got over G, uh, gender ID right here and then following that we will type in name and inside parenthesis I'll type graph 4 comma and then replace and uh, there's our end parenthesis there and so we'll hit enter and so now you can see that uh, we have our two groups reflected um, the one on the left uh, are persons identifying as male the one on the right persons identifying as female and then the percentage of cases in our distribution are falling into those categories are reflected um, by the height of these bars. So now we can combine uh, all four graphs if we wanted to very easily. We could just say graph combine and then we'll type in graph 1, graph 2, graph 3, and graph 4 and then enter. And so it takes a second. It's going to go through and there you go. Now we have all four graphs that are represented in our output where the graphs have been um, combined. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up this uh, video presentation. I appreciate you watching, and you guys have a great day.